Hey guys, Ms. Kolchik here for today's daily reading. Today our book is going to be called The Pout Pout Fish. It is written by Deborah Deason and illustrated by Dan Hanna, and it's a book about a fish who's rather grumpy. He constantly has his pouting face on. Can you all show me your pouting face? Oh, that's a good pouting face. So let's hope that this fish can turn his frown upside down. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Oh, dear. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish with a crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean. His tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, your kaleidoscope of mope, how about a smile? A little joy, a little hope, says the fish to her friend. Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulking sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now, along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying hey, <gasps> she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kissy, kissy fish with a kissy, kissy face for spreading cheery, cheeries all over the place. I thought that was such a nice book to talk about how some days we might be a little bit grumpy, but 
it's really important to remember that we won't always be grumpy and that some will, someone will come along and cheer us up. So I thought that was a really nice way to end the book. That pout pout fish turned his frown upside down. Hope to see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's daily reading. Bye guys!